It's the shower show. It's the shower show. Welcome to the shower show. And I'm here to share it with you. Okay, here's episode three of the Adam Carrington Shower Show. I don't understand how these people with their daily show, they're able to get up every single day and be committed to doing shows. Because this is like the first time I'm not really good with daily commitments. I have a kind of an unstructured life. So this is a new experience. I have this commitment to my viewers to get up, to get in the studio, and to see this project through. You know, I'm sure sometimes David Letterman would just rather be off doing some other thing. But it's like he's up there like clockwork. But then it's like we kind of do everything in our lives like clockwork. It's just the standard of what we're used to. And when something's new and different, you know, we feel like less comfortable. We feel kind of like we're out on a limb. But then by reaching out and doing things that are new and different, we can change our comfort level. Because you can't cease to exist, you know? The quest for comfort is actually, we're actually seeking to not exist or to exist on a, a lower level, to assuage the discomfort of existence. There's a correlation between existing and discomfort, clearly. Yeah, we need to just kind of embrace the discomfort of something new. Like, for instance, I am an artist, and I have always felt that I failed to perform as I could because I have a serious discomfort talking in front of groups of people about my artwork. You know, we have this idea of, like, a meritocracy or something where we should be judged by what we do, but it's never really like that. It's like we're going around casting spells on people. If we can bring people around to our way of thinking by casting some kind of spell on them, then we can get people in our corner and we can get support for the activities that we're doing. And it's the actual merit of the activities of the work is secondary of importance. It's almost like the things that we do are produced are like, they're like tokens that we carry around with us. You know, like I'm Adam Farrington and I make metal sculptures. And it's like the metal sculptures aren't really the thing, they're like the token of the thing. I can show up with myself and I try to, well actually I fail to cast a spell on people and I fail to, you know, get different commissions or whatever because I have some kind of lack of confidence. But I'm distracted, I'm looking at the tokens, the sculptures, and I'm like, how come people aren't beating down my door? I don't know, maybe it's like if you went out to pick up some girls and you go into this bar and you've got like this great handlebar mustache, you know, and, and you just plop yourself down on a stool and you're like, there, here I am, where's the girls? I got my handlebar mustache. You know, but it's not about the handlebar mustache, it's about being engaging. And uh, like the challenges of engagement are usually rooted in a lack of self-confidence. I mean, is anybody born with a lack of self-confidence or is it something that's instilled? I don't know, I feel like I'm losing the thread of what I'm saying, so I might edit it out I'm gonna use the water saver here, I'm gonna soap up. You know, I guess a shower is like a metaphorical thing because we're casting off the old layers of dirt from the previous day and, uh, you know, that's what we need to do psychologically. We need to cast off that which is not our true self but is attached to ourselves and is holding us back. We need to be in a constant state of cleaning and uh, rejuvenation. We can't let ourselves be held back by old layers. A layer of anything can feel like protection. Even a layer of dirt can feel like protection. It's a kind of armor, but it's getting in our way. It's uh, limiting our potential for growth. Doing the feet. And now I'm going to take a rinse. I'll see you next time on the Adam Barrington Shower Show.